Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, I'm your average gamer, back in Falls of Motorsport today for episode 38 of my career mode goings on. Just like to say before we start, if you could click like and subscribe and uh, hit that little bell icon as well so you never miss an episode, that would be tremendously helpful for me and my channel. As we look to finish off the Retro Tuners Championship in my much, much improved and lovely looking and lovely handling Toyota Celica GT4. This is rapidly becoming one of my favourite cars to drive. Very nice indeed. It certainly was at Catalonia. In the last uh, in the last race, where we managed to complete three wins in a row after my disappointing but perhaps not unexpected slightly lower third place finish in the first race. So we've got a 19 point lead in the championship. And we're in the uh, slightly looks quite breezy and certainly very damp pit lane at Kyle Army Grand Prix circuit for a race in heavy rain but uh, I have to say I'm very confident in the abilities of this car here it goes look and so is he striding out oh got the rear wiper on that's good the only issue that I may have is uh I've got quite a lot more power now, but I've uh, still only got street brakes. We'll see how much of a difference that makes. It'll be fine. As I've said before, it's um, where I play with ABS off. It's nice to have a bit of feel through the brakes and you, you get more feel through well the, you get the, the lower you how can I put it yeah the lower ranked the brakes the more feel you get he says locking up so uh, with the street brakes that I've got on it at the moment you get slightly more feel than you do with the sport brakes, but they're still better than the uh, than the race brakes, the old carbon ceramics on the front, which uh, take a little bit of heat to uh, to get them working properly. understeer there but I was on the throttle early this is the hairpin isn't it Feeling better all the time. My lovely Celica. Don't break, don't break. I need to break here though. Yeah, no trouble with the brakes. I can forget that as a problem or an issue. One lap. Now, how am I doing for my lap time? Oh, easily, easily beaten it. Excellent. A little reluctant to change down there, but I wasn't. I was breaking in stages. an RX-7 fantastic looking car but I could never get on with the engine sound the, uh, the rotary engine in 
intriguing idea and it's a fabulous looking car just uh, it's a little bit too worry for my liking the soundtrack a bit of a handful in heavy rain as well whoa wet curb yeah so this is not heavy rain at the moment so I'm going to have to be careful during the race I won't be able to carry as much speed as I am through these corners. That's okay. I'll take each corner on its merits. up that RX-7 easily, I'm catching up this guy, it bodes well for the race, it's an even quicker lap. The track's getting damper now. That Subaru Legacy. Remember seeing, watching them on the telly in the old RAC rally back in the day. It's going through the wheel, uh, through the trees that kill the forest. Stop reminiscing and keep driving. that curb gets very unsettled on that curb pull the flat out a bit don't know if this is going to be flat out in the uh, yeah yeah I don't think so somehow Whoops, lost my concentration. I was looking at me warning what at my penalty, but I didn't get one. So not the best lap to finish with, but two good ones before that, so it's fine. Oh, that's practice complete. Whoa, steady. He's got nerves of steel, that, uh, that bald man there. Right. Oh dear. Very dark skies. Why haven't I got my fog lights on? Right, let's go to the race. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's start tenth. It says first to third. Caught cool, dearie me. That is way, isn't it? Snazzy Supra. Oh, it should be a rolling start. Oh, 
holy moly look at this weather whoops I might have outbraked myself a little bit there but uh, I had some car shaped cushions that I could rely on there Pass those two. Wall oh, steady. What's the next corner? How good does this game look, folks? The lighting rain effects just fantastic oh dear Nowhere near as much grip as there was. please in or outside let's go inside folks concentrating there so you can feel the lack of grip compared to even the first lap yeah four wheel drives beat you there pal yes Careful there, I thought I had loads of space. Apparently not. I have to dab the brakes through there. It's just easing off in practice. Yeah, I think depending on how many points I've got upgrading brakes and tyres the next things that need doing on this car. I don't recall how many laps this race was. I still got a bit of a lead. Oh, it's four laps. So that's halfway. No 
silly mistakes. Just keep it on the island. Is that another car level? Yes, car level 20. Excellent. Lovely now, this car, folks. There are, as I say, there are still a few things that I do want to do with it. Modifications-wise, but... Uh, that's only to make it even better than it is now. Which is very, very nice indeed. think you can go faster than you actually can to that corner obviously it's different in the dry I remember being very sideways in my M4 way back in the day yeah, that, Final lap. thank you ma'am yeah, this would be a very different race if I was in my M4 competition Reveling in the graphics of this game, it's just so fantastic. The rain splattering on the windscreen and the, on the side windows. The damp patches on the track ref reflecting the lights from all around the, st the tr st stadium sections. In the background, the lights in each individual room in each of the houses and hotels and stuff it's fantastic it's got heavier again the rain to go now it's another car level oops always do that It's a left-hander after that, but it's not. It's the kink, though. And there we are, folks. Yes. Yet another win. Nicely done. We finished P1. Thank you, ma'am. We most certainly burntly did. Happy days, substantially quicker around the track than it. I know I had a spoiled lap, but even if I was being more sensible, I would have been quicker. So that's right. So that's what 26 point lead. Don't tell me my maths is getting better. Oh, I didn't realize my car was up to a C452. 
That's good news. There we go, flanked by Supras once again. Well done, Seneca. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Happy days. He's done it again. Four in a row. Right, just shy of 29 grand. Oh, nothing unlocked. What we got? Oh, a night race at full circuit of Suzuka. Four laps, two practice laps. Excellent. Oh, I've got 1150 points available. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do. Oh, should I put some sport tyres on it? No, actually I won't. I'm going to put street tyres on it. And I'm going to put sport brakes on it. Can't do that. They're on sport. Um, oh, that means just power then, folks. Right, let's leave the displacement. What else can I do? Right, that takes it up to a nice round 300 horsepower. How many, sorry, how many points have I got? 250. Takes it up to a B507. Interesting. Anyhow, sorry. That takes it up to 315 horsepower. 312. Oh no, not those. 313. 320. I can't remember what it was, the other one. 316 Yeah, in that case I think we'll pop that on it And I've still got 50 points left There we go, 325 horsepower folks Happy days. Um, where was it? It was at Suzuka, wasn't it? Yeah, that'll all be fine. Right, let's get over to Suzuka for a night race. This surely is going to look spectacular at night. Well, certainly an evening going into night race. A quick vape. The three and a half mile demanding Suzuka circuit hasn't changed much since it was built as a Honda test facility back in 1962. Interesting, Mum. Thanks. Thankfully, that was quite a long time before I was around, so I don't remember it. But uh, anyway, here he goes. Let's get out on this track. So two practice laps. What was it? Four race laps. God, it looks meaner now. This lower stance with that sport suspension. I'm liking it. certainly feel, feels quicker straight away and it is come on let's get to 130 oh yeah easy Whoa, 
those. Lost it in the glare there, folks. Completely, utterly and totally lost it in the glare. Wider than I thought there. Oh, dearie me. This, this feels more angry, folks. That's how I'd describe it. It's arriving at corners a little quicker than I'm expecting. Got to get in tune with the car as much as the track. All right, let's open her up. I think you get up to quite as high a speed here as you do, no, not as down the main straight. Of course, steering's so direct now. That's a great chicane, that. Last chicane, tough to get that line right, get your braking point and then the light through the corner right, but boy is it satisfying. Well, even with that little mistake, still beat my lap time. Glare from the sun that time, folks. Stick to the inside a little bit. There we go. That's better. Seven again. Sorry about that, fella. Not a lot of room in that section of the track. Feel nice. To the old spoon corner. Like this one thirty R, isn't it? This corner. Whoops. Sorry folks, it's, this car's much more direct in its handling now since I've just upgraded it for this race. It's a little hard to uh, pick your spot for turning in. That's okay, I completed my objectives. Oh, a few scratches from the RX-7. That'll soon buff out, get on it pal. Look smart for the race.
So, a little bit darker. Let's start in eighth. Still says first to third. See how we go. Quick pre race vape, quick sip of drink. better. Went the old whistle. Right. Can we finish on a high? Already forgot what the first corner is. Oh yes, that double right-hander, isn't it? I'll take that. I had to dart wherever I could to avoid that skyline, which, uh, not skyline, that, um, um, Sylvia. That was the only place I could go. How's that for a good excuse again, folks? through the carnage, slight time penalty, a few scratches. And a super to chase down. Again, different circumstances, but how good does this look, the lighting on this circuit in the clouds? So atmospheric, it's just amazing. Just see the helicopter in the sky there. Yeah, that was better. Supra. Well, I can catch him though. Those are two of my favourite corners in racing, folks. I gave him plenty of room and he took it. Wow, is that, is that another clean overtake? What is going on? It's getting 
darker which means it's getting even better looking Two and a half seconds. Oh. It's, it's harsh, but I don't understand it. I, if I was cutting the corner, which I did when I got my first penalty, yeah, that's fair enough. But that's all about speed through that corner, and I'm running wide, and I'm not actually gaining that much. What I'm gaining in speed, I'm losing in, in race line. that gap see how we go so much more throttle adjustable now this car it's lovely just tighten its line with a little lift Quite close behind me, that guy. Just keep it together, Dave. sharply as I was then. Wow, how good does that Ferris wheel look? There we go, car level 25. One more lap. Thank you, ma'am. Compared to the way that I've driven some races, I will be sad to end this championship and change to another car. Because this, even without it being a full B600, is still a fantastic car to drive. Machine. Yeah, slightly increase the gap on second place. Strong brakes. We 
it on the grass there, folks. That's not good for the old ticker. Folks, it's another win, another championship in the bag. Yes, what a fun, fun race that was. What a car! Well done, he won. Thank you very much indeed, ma'am. Happy days. And what was my winning margin in the end? 29 points. That was a guess, folks. No, I think it is 29 points. Flanked by the same suppers again. Good, but just not good enough. To beat me Super Celica. Well driven, folks. But, yes. He's up there again. Five in a row. After a poor start to the championship that had me worried, I'll be honest. Not as worried as I was in the XR2, but still worried. He's come out smelling the roses. Go just over 28 grand. What have we got? Engine swap, drivetrain swap, and 35 grand. Already up to level 105. Happy days. How are we doing for time? 42 minutes. Let's look at the next series. We'll watch the intro and then choose a car. And then that'll be the end for this episode, I think, there, folks. And then. Quiet at the back. Let's listen to the intro. It was a decade of innovation and growth, fueled by underdog teams from Asia, all determined to establish a new generation of truly competitive sports cars by going toe to toe with the European heavyweights. That fierce competition at racetracks around the globe accelerated motorsports design and engineering flat out resulting in coveted classics that will once again take to the track and battle it out at the absolute limit. Oh yes, the absolute limit, that's where I belong. Well, the average limit anyway. Just so let's see what cars are available. So what we've got, 2002 Turbo. Holden Tirana, that's an interesting car, Lotus Elan, couple of Mazdas, couple of Skylines, 2000 GT. Oh, should I go for something a little bit radical? Should I go for a Lotus Elan? I've already driven Sky... I know they're rear-wheel drive Skylines. Maybe the Porsche. Oh, decisions, decisions, folks. I've driven plenty of Toyotas. I've driven plenty of Nissans, so let's rule those out. Let's be ruthless. Those Mazdas are not particularly highly rated, and they do sound a little bit weird. And I've driven BMW, so it comes down to the Tirana, the Elan, or the Porsche. So what's that? 265, that's 272, 298. What am I to do? I'm literally torn, folks. I am 
in a bit of a quandary. I did say I fancied the Elan, so I may well go for the Elan. Let's come out of that. Yeah, I think... I think I'm going to go for the Elan. If I can get it in British Racing Green. What does Lotus begin with L? J, K, L. Here we go. So it's not very powerful, but then it's going to have a, everything's going to have a power disadvantage against that hold, and I'm sure that's going to be by far the quickest. I've only gone and done it, folks. I bought myself a Lotus Elan. Beautiful handling car. Um, place in the car by, yeah, we'll pop that in there. Let's just see. Paint the car. That loses the decals. Be nice to have it in British Racing Green rather than red and white with yellow bumper on the front. That looked a bit weird. Right, let's just paint the brake calipers to make it go faster. Oops. Tint the windows a little bit. Just put my number plate on the back. Just sneaking up to 50 minutes, but that's okay. Apply decals. New layer. Load a layer group. Yes, please. Interferes with the boot catch a little bit, but that's the way they design the car, not me. Let's zoom in a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. So there we are, folks, all ready for the next series. come out of that we'll go into view oh I've still got more menus to come out of let's go to view car hide the UI and change that and there we are my British racing green Lotus Elan complete with number plate happy days looking forward to giving that a little spin on the track so, uh, so yeah, I'll be bringing this episode to a conclusion there then, folks, after another championship win. Happy days. So, uh, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed that, folks. If you could hit like and subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss an episode, that would be tremendously helpful for me and my channel as we push on to another new series, giving, putting this at land for its paces. Can't wait. So, uh, so yeah, so I'll just say uh, thank you very much again for watching, and I will see you all on the next one. Cheerio.